If you're moving to the greater St. Louis area and you're looking at Troy, Missouri, wondering what it's like to live there and what you get by living there, in this video, I'm gonna talk all about it and most importantly, I'm gonna show you some visuals of what it looks like. Now, you might watch this and decide you love it and you might decide you hate it and it's not the right place for you. But I'm gonna give you a good understanding of what Troy has to offer. So let's get right to it. Troy is about an hour outside of downtown St. Louis. So if you're looking for that more rural kind of country lifestyle, you will find that in Troy. So Troy is a little bit further out there, a little bit harder to get to, and it's not as busy of a lifestyle as some of the more, you know, densely populated suburbs around St. Louis. And by the way, if you're moving to Troy or somewhere else around St. Louis, and if you want some help with that process of buying a house or buying a condo in this crazy market, my team and I are licensed realtors in Missouri. So that is what we're here for. If you have questions and you want help buying a place, send us an email or send us a text. Let's get in touch. So before I was filming this video, I was looking at niche.com and they categorized Troy as sparse suburban. I would mostly agree with that. You know, Troy has some very rural parts and some parts that lean more towards suburban. It feels like the suburbs. So it's kind of a blend of both, just depends on where you go. But overall, it feels much more country and much more rural compared to some parts that are close to St. Louis. In Troy, you are in Lincoln County. And like I said, you're about an hour outside of downtown St. Louis. So this is, you know, a step beyond the suburbs and the exurbs. It feels more country. So it's past a place like Wentzville, Lake St. Louis. You're right next to Moscow Mills. So that's kind of the part of town you're in if you live in Troy. Around the town center is where you have the historic district. So Main Street, really historic part and it's pretty cool if you take Main Street through Troy, you have like this historic looking old timey kind of Midwestern town center. So you'll see the brick buildings, some bars, shops, and restaurants around there, but it's like this historic looking Midwestern town center. And then stemming off of that, you have some parks and then some of these neighborhoods with kind of some older, smaller houses. You know, you'll see a cute little ranch or like a bungalow that is right off of Main Street. And these are some of the historic parts of Troy. And some of them are pretty cute. Like some of these are these cute little houses. Some other ones, not as well maintained, definitely on the older side. So you'll see both of those around the town center. It just depends on which house. You kind of get a mix of both. And then right around there, you got the park, playgrounds, baseball fields. So lots of outdoor space, lots of place for the kids to run around, just have a fun day out during summer. So he got all that around the main street area of Troy. Now Troy has definitely seen some growth over the past couple years. So it's really kind of expanded outwards. And that kind of goes along with, how, you know, all the growth we've seen in Wentzville. So, you know, it kind of follows that trend of people moving further outside the city, more development, more new construction happening and kind of expanding outwards as people leave St. Louis and go further into the suburbs. So a place like Wentzville, Lake St. Louis, and then Troy kind of follows that growth of new houses being built, new neighborhoods, and just more people coming to that area. The farther outside the town center you get, you'll see bigger pieces of land, you'll see some newer built subdivisions, but really Troy is where you will find these bigger lots where it's just cheaper to get a big piece of land compared to some places that are closer to the city. If you're looking for that kind of cheap Midwestern country lifestyle, Troy is on the right track. If you want like a 3000 square foot house, decent sized backyard and a pool, between 300 and 400 grand, you'll definitely find that in Troy. You'll see some of these more farmhouse style estates or some ranches, big piece of land, pool in the backyard, detached garage or a guest house. That's pretty common out here, especially on the houses that have a big piece of land. 
you will definitely see people that have a huge detached garage. They'll use it to store the truck or the RV, use it as a work from home office or a man cave or a guest house. More spread out living, more space between you and your neighbors, bigger backyard for the kids to run around. So you get more of that spacious country lifestyle in this part of town. So like I said, the main street is kind of your historic cute little town center, but if you have errands to run, you're gonna wanna go somewhere along East 47. So that's kind of one of the main roads going through Troy. East 47 will have your bigger chain stores and commercial space, so Kroger, Aldi's, Walmart. There's not a ton to pick from depending on where you like to go shopping. So you're not gonna see a ton of options for places to go around Troy you will more than likely have to drive into Wentzville or Lake St. Louis to get big errands done. You can get there in 20 minutes. So that's kind of the thing to know about living out here more in the country. If you're someone who shops at Target or Sam's Club or you need to go to Lowe's or a Home Depot, you don't have that in Troy, you have that in Wentzville and Lake St. Louis. Those are gonna be your closest options. You might have to drive into Chesterfield. The Chesterfield Valley has all the outlets, big stores and shopping you could possibly want. I would expect around 35, maybe 40 minutes to get to the Valley if you live in Troy. Again, if you drive fast, you'll get there sooner. And speaking of Chesterfield and Troy, so my colleague, Chloe, she works on my team. She helps my clients with me. She grew up in Wildwood and she lived there her whole life. A Couple years back, when all the kids grew up and left the house, her parents sold their place in Wildwood and they moved to Troy. So they went from one of the biggest neighborhoods in Wildwood out to Troy. They got a bigger piece of land, pool, like the whole package. And then fast forward to now, a couple years later, they're actually looking to move back towards Chesterfield and Wildwood because they realize Troy is a little bit too far away. It's too far from the city, from Chesterfield, from like the shopping and entertainment you got closer to that area. So that's really the thing you gotta know. If you need to be close to everything, Troy may not be the best fit just because if you got, you know, errands to run, you might have to drive 30 to 45 minutes depending on where you wanna go. Like if you gotta to go to the valley, that's gonna be like a 35 minute drive. Downtown St. Louis, that's an hour away if you live in Troy. So if you wanna go out for a night, go bar hopping or go to a cards game, whatever it is, if you're going to downtown, it's gonna be at least an hour to get there if you live in Troy. So just be aware of that. But hey, I mean, if you're someone who wants that rural lifestyle, you enjoy driving the country roads, more peace and quiet, bigger house, bigger backyard, all to yourself for you and your family, Troy could be just what you're looking for. So if you want some help moving to Troy, making that move, buying a house, let's get in touch, send us an email, send us a text message. If you wanna to work together, we would love to hear from you. So that is gonna wrap it up for this video today. Thank you for watching, I appreciate it. Hope you take care, have a great day, and I will see you in the next video right here on the Living St. Louis channel.